Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this tutorial where we'll be learning about the text to column utility in Excel. So in an Excel, if you go to the data tab, we can find a feature called as text to column right there over the top. So using this feature, we can split a single column into multiple columns based on a delimiter that is of interest to us. So we will see how to use that with a short example. So, so I have gone to a website. So this is a US Senate website where we have uh, the oaths of the Senate sessions. So we so let me go to one of those. So here we have the list of votes, right? So we have the senator and the vote whether it was yeah or it was no or it was you know whether the senator did not cast the vote and the party the party is the democratic republic and then we have the state as well right this and so on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this entire thing and uh, let's paste it in excel right so it might take some time yeah so here we go so this, if you see, this is a single column where we have that particular name and then the senator name, the state, the party and the vote and all those things. Everything is in a single column. And if you closely watch, we could split that out into multiple columns, like using those delimiters like parentheses, the ones inside parentheses is the is the party hyphen state, right? And then the one outside the parenthesis, there's a comma, and then we have the EA or no or whatever. So let's use these delimiters and try to split this into multiple columns easily using the text to column uh, function. So first, let's select the column that we want to split, and then you can go to text to columns. So here, there are two options, delimited or fitted with. I, this is a delimited option because we are going to split by some character. So, so it's, we, let's go by default, which is delimited. And then what is the delimiter on which we want to split, split, right? So it's not tab. So we are going to first split by the left parenthesis. So I'm going to use other and then going to put the left parenthesis. So you can see it here. Now the left parenthesis is, is kind of taken out and then the remaining parts are in a separate column. So let's give next. And um, and if we see here, uh, yeah, it's asking for a column name. Let's just keep it finished, no issues. So we don't have a column name, right? So so now if we see, this is the senator name, which is in a separate column, and then we have the remaining part in a, another column. So now let's split this column further. So let me select this column. And this time we are going to split by iPhone because it's party name, iPhone and the remaining. Right? So let me click text to columns and then delimited. I'm going next and I'm going to use other and my delimiter here is an iPhone and you can see this here. You can give next and finish. Now you got the party name in a separate column and let's repeat this iteratively, right? So now I'm going to split by the closing parenthesis so I will get the state. So we can go to text to column, next, others, and this time I'm going to use the closing parenthesis. And you can see here, next, finish. So we got it. Now we can actually, finally you can use a comma. And then here, we need, we need not use others because we already have a comma here. And now we got this, right? Finish. So now we can delete this extra column. Right, so so we we got all these things, so we can just make make it a little bit neat by giving this format. Right, and now I can add a new row and call this senator, and then this is party, this is state, and this is your name, right? Whatever, any name that. You, you want. So again, you can format it a little bit and all this, that. Here we go. So now this is the data that we had, which we copied from the internet. And then using the text to column, we made that into a nice CSV data where you have four columns and each of these are sorted out into respective columns. So this is a very useful feature where we can, if we are scraping, we can use this tool to kind of uh, process the scraped part into a nice data frame 
in a csv file hope you learned and found this useful thank you